Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. I am so excited for you to be here today. I have been watching this game for quite some time, but today, not a few hours ago, they released the public demo, the preview demo of Timberborn. It's a novel idea where you, you're a city builder, but you're beavers. So let's hop on into the game here, and I, I played for 10 or 15 minutes just to check sound and all that, but... I am not a master in any means. So we have the beavers for the demo, the beavers of Demoria. Free spirits by nature. They specialize in surviving in the most desolate land through sheer determination. They lack unique characteristics of their distant full game cousins. So it sounds like this is the demo population. Nothing special about them. We get to preview the Iron Teeth, defectors of the true ways of timber. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress with ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Their motto, work hard, work hard. So this sounds like this is the capitalist, build, expand, or die type of people. And then there's a third teaser over here that we get nothing about. So let's select the beavers of Demoria. That will be our population. And we're going to be playing on the plains map. I love the art style on this splash screen here. The leaves and the light coming through the trees. The dwarves down here, with a little, or dwarves, the uh, beavers down here. That have a, a throwback or makes you think of the doors from Snow White. The tip, if a building is marked as solid, such as a lodge or a warehouse, you can build other structures on its roof. So this is the one part of the game that I find very interesting is the vertical aspect of your building. You can stack individual buildings on top of each other, and each of those buildings ha could have a, a different function. So you can build a vertical city, and when I say vertical, I don't just mean a tall city, but just a, a city that each level of a building, like in real life, could have a different function. So certainly excited to explore that feature of the game. All right, and we're in. So let's pause here and kind of take in everything. So let's zoom. we can't zoom out or as zoomed out as we can. Let's kind of explore the map. So this is our river here running through the map. And some mountains or hills and some valleys in between. Looks like we got some ruins that we could scrap for 30 metal. So maybe we'll have to work our way over here. This looks like this was either burned or dead. More ruins over here. Some ruins over here. There's the edge of the map. Nice. So I think, and I could be wrong, the backstory is that humans have collapsed or gone away and beavers have become sentient and now kind of run the world. So I'm thinking those ruins are like the ruins of a city or the ruins of a human existence all right so let's go back and find our beavers here here they are we start with a builder's hut and a lumberjack flag so we'll explore each of the building tabs as we go through but just to give you an idea each profession so builders or lumberjacks or farmers has like a farmer's flag or a flag where you can just a quick little thing put it down it only has one worker but they're not as efficient then if you want, or as you progress through their game, you can build an entire building to support building um, or lumberjacking or farming or however you want to do it. All right, so we're going to start by indicating all these trees over here can be chopped down so our lumberjacks can do that. They will need storage, so we have a log pile which can hold 180 logs, or we could have a small warehouse which is solid, and then we could stack things on top of it. So we'll actually just start with the log pile here just because this is the base game or the uh, you know or, or intro to the game nothing too crazy and let's start with a path and we'll do that and then we're going to run a path down to the water because we will need water very shortly here because our beavers will get thirsty so we'll build this water pump like this spin this so that's facing the door and that's in the water perfect and then we're going to build one small water tank right here all right and then we'll connect both of those with a path you can see also in the pathing tab the uh, platforms, and they go up oops, uh, as high as one, two, and three platforms. So again, that's where you get the, the heights of your city that you can build. Let's select the beaver here. So we got Kia. You can see they got the standard hunger, thirst, sleep, social life, uh, fun, nutrition levels, comfort, spirituality, aesthetics, and then awe. And each of these has a bonus as you progress or as you add to it that they can get. So like... If you have nutrition too, they have a strength of plus 30%. So let's go ahead and get the game rolling here. And I'm going to put it at time seven speed. So they built the stockpile there. And then we're also going to need food very quickly. So let's go ahead and build a farmhouse. And we'll put the farmhouse there. 
And then we're going to indicate some land to sow some carrots. Carrots, uh, we got three levels of food, at least in the demo. Carrots are the quickest, but they only provide nutrition. One, you go to potatoes and uh, you can grill them, change them into to nutrition two level foods, and then wheat, which is not available in the demo, which could be turned into bread, uh, which is nutrition level three. So we will get some carrots in the ground and we're actually gonna make this carrot plot just a little bit bigger. So we'll do another by three there. So that's a pretty big carrot field for us. So hopefully we get this built here soon. It needs 25 logs. They're already putting some logs into that. Can we increase the number of, nope, we can't. So eventually what we'll want to do is put a, a lumberjack hut over here so they can, we'll have more lumberjacks going on. All right, so they're just running around, chopping down trees and building things for us. You can see over here, we got some deforestation going on. I would imagine that has some sort of negative effect. Uh, hopefully in the full game, it will. All right, while they're working, let's go ahead and explore the UI. Some of this uh, we can't select, like we can't click on the goals because it's not available in the demo. Um, you know, we can click on their well-being. So you see 11 out of 11 have all their hunger satisfied. Um, so we can get these different well-being levels. Logs, we got 22 logs. We've got 101 food. We've got a little bit of water. And you can see our beavers are starting to get thirsty here. So we got the water pump up. That's good. They will start to get some water so they're not thirsty. And who is working it? I can't. Wanjin. Wanjin is pumping the water for us. Thank you. And then we got a little bit of food. So we got to make sure we get this built here soon so we can start growing some carrots for our beavers. I saw some berry bushes over here. And I've been trying to figure out a way if there's a, if we can scavenge them or do something. And maybe, let me go back and check the food tab. Is it under, oh, the gatherer flag. So what we'll do is let's put a quick gathering tab here or gathering um, flag so they can start to gavage the berries that will give us a little bit of extra food while we wait for our carriage to grow. So that will take care of that. Uh, let's look at housing. So we'll start with two lodges. Uh, each building lodge holds three beavers. So we'll need quite a few. And I think this is where the verticality comes in. So you can see the door there, and that will be on the main floor. And the exciting part is, so now we're on the second floor. If we rotate that, that door now comes onto the platform. So then we'll be able to build two lodges on top of each other, and they will be able to live on the, the top floor of this house. So again, this is where the verticalness of the game comes in. So that's pretty cool, I think. We've got our farming hut, or farmhouse, excuse me, built. And let's increase the number of workers. So we'll get two out of two workers there. So we can get all these carrots planted as our scavenger. Our scavenger is built. So we'll have, yep, see now he's starting to get us some blueberries. And you can see we got a little bit of food left. We got plenty of water, it seems like. And that should start to fill that water tank for us as well. But now food is our big concern. As we scavenge the blueberries, we should be good so we can get all the way Ooh, there's a lot of blueberries over here so let's extend our path over there because if you read the descriptions it said you know extending the path allows you to expand the areas that someplace will work so let's do that and then we'll come back and check this we might move this over here just because it's closer to the blueberries if we need to we can zoom in quite a bit and get some good detail on the beavers I like that. That's 100% full. Uh, let's explore some of the other tabs. So we've looked at storage labor. That is where the builder's flag and the builder's hut and the hauling posts. So that's where you can have beavers move products around for you. We've looked at the housing. And I would imagine when we hit the full release, there might be you know advanced housing or you know higher quality housing that you could build. There's the grill I talked about where it uh, turns potatoes, grills potatoes into nutrition level two. So that will be on our radar eventually. Woodworking, so we have the lumberjack flag, uh, the carpenter, which um, will need power to operate and it can turn logs into planks. There's the gear workshop, the paper mill, the printing pest. So the thing I'm interested in here is the forester, so we could start to plant more trees. Uh, but in order to do that, we'll need power and science. And here's our inventor's hunt here which generates three science points, I'm assuming a day. So let's actually go ahead and place this down right here. This is uh, looking like this is gonna be kind of our, 
our city center as we progress. Let's check on our gatherer. Okay, so our gatherer can come all the way over here to get blueberries. That is good. We might still move him over there eventually. Uh, we're doing okay on food. We got 58 food. Our carrots have been in the ground. They're almost they're 60 percent grown, so that's good. And each square plot will give us three carrots every four days. So we should be set on food here very soon. So they're building that inventor's hut. Nice. So two beavers still don't have jobs. He's going to start to get a science here with the the windmill or whatever that is. That's spinning spinning object. And let's go ahead and start building some more lodging. So we'll rotate that like that. And they're going to build another hut. So that will give housing to 369 of our 13 beavers. So that will help them. How are we doing on lumber? We've got 34 pieces of lumber available. Now, I don't think we can build any platforms yet. No, we have to research that. So we've got 12 science. Now, how do we how do we select our research? Do I click on here? Hmm. I can see that tab or do I just click on it? I wonder if I just click on it down here. So we'll have to wait and get a little bit more research built. The the other interesting thing in this game is the dams and levees. So dams allow a little bit of water through. Levees prevent all water from coming through. You can also dig a river. So like, let's say we wanted to turn this little bit into an island. We can make explosives, dynamite, and blast a new river right here if we so chose. Or if we wanted to then, or let's say we wanted to do that and then block it here, then we could build a dam or a levee and block this off so that we would have, um, you know, the water would flow this way and this would dry up and then we could build platforms or do whatever we wanted over here. You can see we are just going through all that lumber very quickly. If we need to expand, we'll go ahead and mark all these trees as well. So we can cut all that down and have plenty of lumber. Let's see, we, your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score level four. Nice. So I don't know if that gives us any bonuses or anything, but it makes me feel better that our, our beavers are living a good life. So let's go ahead and build one more. So we can't stack this yet because we don't have the platforms to, to, to build it on. I guess we could build a hut back here and then build one on top, but we're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and build this one here. So we'll have uh, 12 housing, and that should cover, I think, most of our beavers. Yeah. So that will hopefully make everyone very, very, very happy. And these guys are harvesting our carrots. That is nice. So we've got 25 carrots so far, 80 food total. So I am feeling really good about that. And then while we're doing that, let's go ahead and let's plant some potatoes. So those take six days to grow. And we'll put the potato field right here. And is that within? Yep, that is well within our range. Nice. We've got 39 science. So our science is just slowly ticking up there. That's good. Looks like we've harvested all the blueberries that we can harvest. I think in order to show you guys, we can take out this barrier uh, and it should fill this. So let's go ahead and mark this for demolish and we'll wait for a beaver to come by and we're going to, here he goes. He's destroying it. All right. So that's pretty cool. That water flowed in there. I think, did the water go down here? It looks like the water went down a little bit as it flows into here. Um, so now we got water over here. That's kind of cool. I like that mechanic. Now let's just for fun, let's go to landscaping and let's let's build a dam. Box one and let me build. Another. Yeah, let's build a dam here. Um, just so we can say we built a dam. I just want to see it. So here comes our builders. They're gonna drop off some logs. So they need quite a few more logs to to finish building that. How are we doing? We got carrots replanted. We're replanting some or planting some of our potatoes. So that's good. Got plenty of lumber over here. And then we also need to build. Where is it at? Science, leisure. Here we go. Let's go ahead and build them a campfire so they can get some uh, socializing in as well. Do we got that dam built yet, guys? No. All right. But there's seven out of 20 logs there. We're going to go ahead and. Where was 
You get to see me clicking around because I'm lost. Let's build the... Let's go ahead and build the hauling post so we can help with that. And we'll build... Let's build that. Hmm, where do I want to build that? Here? Yeah, we can build that here. And then we'll connect that with a road as well. There we go. And the dam is built. All right, so I think they can cross over this. We can build on top of it if we wanted to. There we go, level five with the campfire. Now they're able to come in here and socialize and relax. So that's good. Let's click on this. So we've got hunger, thirst, and sleep well satisfied. Social life is being slowly satisfied. Nutrition one with the carrot and comfort. I'm assuming that's coming from, well, wait, let's click on a beaver and find out where comfort one comes from. Hmm. Doesn't quite say, but that's okay. So they got plenty of housing, plenty of places to socialize. Food, we got 59 food. We ran out of carrots, but that's okay. So once this gets, once the hauling post gets built, we'll build a kitchen, or excuse me, a grill right here. So we can start to grill, or be ready to grill our potatoes when those are finished harvesting. I'm really liking this game so far, guys. I don't know about you, but I, I like the concept. I like the idea. One, I've always liked city builders, so that's, that's good. Um, but two, this is just something new and interesting, and this is only the demo. I would imagine as they progress, they'll add new buildings, new technology. Uh, I'd really like to play around with the dynamite and maybe blast a river or you know create our own river or something like that up here in the upper right i don't think we've talked about this yet if we have i'm sorry but you can change the working hours so if we wanted to make a 15 hour work day or a 17 hour work day we can adjust that we're in the wet season you know we're in cycle one day 11 and you can go up to seven times speed so that's pretty cool so our beavers are pretty happy we've got 14 total so i think some of them are starting to produce kids which is good so we'll be able to expand faster. Our food is way down. Um, okay, let's build a path up to here. So hopefully we can get those berries on that hill. So what we'll probably do, do that, do that. They'll build that path. And we're gonna put a gathering hut right here. Gathering flag, excuse me, rotate that. And then we can delete this one. So that beaver moves a little bit closer. Yes, we can go ahead and delete that. As our food starts to wane, it it might have been better for us to build larger plots of land for farming. So let's go ahead and expand these just a little bit. I'm thinking maybe well, I want to put the grill here. We could put the grill over here and turn this into a farmland. All right, so let's go ahead and plant some more carrots right here. We'll do a whatever that is. So our beavers will come and plant carrots in that. This guy, he cannot reach all the way up there. Let's go ahead and extend that path and see if that helps him. So we'll just go like, ah, they're going to have to cut those trees down. Well, let's do that to start. See if that does anything. Maybe just with the, the path on the other side of the stairs, that'll extend it. Eh, a little bit, we'll be able to get some more berries. We are now only got three berries, so we're right on the no food. Carrots are almost done. So we will have to watch the next time we play our food production and make sure we have enough land for food. So I think maybe, because we'll end this episode here soon, um, and I'll probably restart this colony, I think we're going to have to turn this whole land up here into carrots just in order to produce enough food, because that's not good that we're already down to zero food. Um, looks like they're harvesting the carrots here. Are they? Or they're maturing? The carrots are maturing. So hopefully in the next day... The next morning we'll be able to get some more food in. Water we're doing good on. That's nice. The pump house is keeping us well satisfied. Uh, is there anywhere else we can get berries from? Yeah, there's some berries up here. All right, let's, let's go ahead and we'll do a straight line like this and get up there and chop those trees down so we can build a larger path, longer path. Any berries down over here? Huh, that is just not a lot of food. It's already be running out of food at uh, day 14. I guess it's been two weeks. So yeah, we learned that, that we just had to have a larger fields, larger carrot fields. That will certainly help us out.
All right, so we are getting some more berries in, getting some carrots in. Let's see how far behind are the taters. The taters are at 80%, so we'll keep an eye on those. These carrots just need to be harvested. He brought in some more carrots. So we got, we got a little bit of food here. The other thing might be to do is to stagger our carrot fields. You know, start one, wait a day, start another one, wait a day, start another one. Just so you always have one being harvested. So that would be beneficial. Our population is growing quite fast. We're now at 15 beavers. So let's go ahead and put another lodge down. What do we got? We got 126 science. Let's check to see how we buy things. Click to unlock for 70. Okay, so we can unlock stairs for 70. We can unlock the platform for 100. And the triple platform is not available until 200 science. Okay, so let's let us wait a second and get enough science. We should have enough science here soon. Um, did they build this? They built this. Oh, we gotta get planks before we can build the hollers post. Okay, so in order to get planks, we need the carpenter. Does he need power? Which needs power. So then we have to come here and look at power and the water wheel produces power. So let's go ahead and place our water wheel down. Let me look at this. Okay, so I think the blue is where our gears come out of. So let's let's place that there and see what happens. So I think power. So there's, yeah, the straight shaft. So we could transfer the power this way. We got the turns. Dry season approaching, so the water's going down. Interesting, interesting. Okay, and there's that bar showing us how much left. So we could turn the shaft, we could turn it into a T section to transfer power, shaft intersection, high shaft, and engine, burns logs to create power. Okay, okay, I'm liking this, guys. I, I like the, the ideas behind power and all that. So what we'll probably do is let's look at our Carpenter does he have a So then do we just put the the shaft? I guess that's what we'll do is we'll put the shaft right onto the The building and we'll see what happens. All right, so we need a 14 more logs to finish this up And then we'll have a water wheel here soon you can definitely tell the water levels are down since the dry season You know, that's that's all really low all this is low up here. There's not even any water in here now. So I wonder if when the, the water comes back, will this fill back up? I guess we'll have to wait and see. We got some blueberries starting to re regrow here, so that's a good sign. We chop these trees down over here. Let's see if we can we can build a path through these now that they have been chopped down. We can. So we're going to build our path through here. Uh, construction site is too far from builders. Okay. So I don't know if we'll be able to build that path all that way, but hopefully our scavenger, as we build this path, will have more access to these berries. And it looks like he will. Good. So I think other than like the last one or two tiles, okay, they're going to build that one, so it must be the last one. Nope, we got all of them. So we got a little bit more access to berries. That's good for us. And we got the slope there, the walkable ramp. We've got 168 science, so tomorrow we should be able to get the the um, ramp, or excuse me, not the ramp, the wooden stairs and the platform. So what we'll do is we'll do stairs up and then have the platform come around and then we'll be able to build two more lodging up here. Just to get some verticality built in here. Is our water wheel done? Our water, ooh, look at that spin. That is neat, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and power and we'll take the the shaft here and we'll just build a shaft and then let's build the carpenter's house carpenter's hut right I guess let's build it right there so that needs 15 logs all right that's almost done we've got 180 science so while they're building that let's go ahead and get the stairs Yes, go ahead and unlock stairs. And let's go ahead and unlock the, oops, I didn't unlock that platform. And stairs. So let's build the stairs. Let's build the stairs here. And then we'll bring a path around that way to the stairs. And then we will build the platforms right here. 
All right, platform, platform, platform. So now we can build our two new lodges up there. So I think you can also build platforms in the water if you wanted. Yeah, so if we wanted to, to build, build a bridge across, we could do that. All right, so that guy has power now, so he's gonna start to produce our planks, so that's good. One log for one plank, that seems fair. All right, let's watch this platform be built. All right, I think we got our food situation under control. I was thinking we'd have to build these massive plots, but I, I guess not. Um, we got plenty of carrots, we got plenty of potatoes, or we had plenty of potatoes. Ooh, now it's really dry. Look at all this. So will our carrots grow? I don't know if our carrots are gonna grow anymore. This is all really dry. Everything dried up. So let's, okay, so this lake down here, ooh, even the lake's drying up. This is, this is really interesting. Okay, so you have to be really prepared for dry season because I don't think, we've got no power. We probably should have built some more water storage because we're going to run out of water really quick here our carrots are not growing or if they are it's very very slow i can't remember if it was 96 or 98 so let's see what kind of way okay the carrots are slowly 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 growing not as fast as they were we're getting ready to build our platforms here let's see so we need planks which we should start to, well we can't produce any planks because this doesn't have any power we could build, let's go and look at it. Uh, where's my power, power. Yeah, let's build the, the power wheel where the beaver runs on it. Um, I guess we can build it right. Let's build it right here and then we can build a, sh let's see what happens. Maybe it'll be able to power this from here. I don't, I don't know what the, the reach is for the power buildings. It would be nice to get some water back here soon. We got 24 berries left. Carrots are still at 98%, so I don't think they're growing. 98, 99, yeah, so they're not going anywhere. They are, our beavers are starting to get thirsty here, and we still got a little bit of our dry season left. All right, so is there even any water left on the map? Just the slightest right there. So maybe this is where building the dam would have been better for us. Maybe we should have came down here and dammed it up just so we would have retained some of the water up here i guess that's a a function we will have to to look into and learn about i like this i like this a lot so that's got nine more logs it needs we've got 10 10 berries we're out of water hopefully our dry season ends here soon our beavers are so oh, one just died who just someone just died so i think we're going to have a large uh large uh killing off of our beavers here soon because they are getting thirsty and they will probably get hungry here soon. All right, wet season is back. Will we be able to save everything? Looks like we had another beaver die. We had 15 or 16. They are all thirsty. Where's the water? Where's the water? Where's the water? We need water. All right, looks like it's starting to work its way back down the map and turning everything green. Another beaver died. I don't know if we'll have enough time to get everyone with water again. Well, we got that spinning wheel built, so he is producing energy. So what we could do is bring this like that. Two more beavers died. All right, so I think this was a good start. We didn't lose all of them, but we lost a lot of our beavers. Um, so I, I think we learned some of the basic mechanics. I think we uh, come back and try again here. Yeah, we're down to 6-5. Uh, I think we're going to lose most of our beavers here soon. So I think this is a good start. We learned dry season comes, and you have to have a lot of water and a lot of food stored up. Um, but we learned the basic mechanics of the game, and I, I really like it. Let's let's come back and try it again. Two beavers left. Um, and we'll, we'll try it again next time. So thank you so much for coming out and watching Tooth and Scrub Gaming, guys. Don't forget to like the video. Comment if you want me to keep making more Timberborn videos or any other game. Make sure you let us know. There's our game over screen. I'll read that here in a second. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get all this great content as it comes out in a nice and orderly fashion. So let's see what's the game over said. Oh no, all your beavers, all the beavers have died. It happens, but don't be discouraged and try again. We're sure the next settlement will survive longer. And I, I agree, I think it will. So we, we did have six beavers be born. 
We lost 17, used 298 logs. Um, yeah, that's nice. I like this game. Um, so thank you so much for coming out, and we'll see you next time in the next Timberborn video.